I, I definitely do. Uh, you know that uh, the financial markets, especially the stock market, typically leads the recovery of the uh, real economy. Uh, in fact, we've we've already seen that the Hong Kong market, uh, where a lot of Chinese uh, firms from the mainland China are listed and traded, uh, experienced a very uh, bullish market in November, in the month of November. Uh, obviously, prior to that, uh, the, the Hong Kong market had a very big adjustment. Uh, and I also uh, expect to see a uh, large adjustment uh, bouncing back in the Asia market. And uh, we should also expect to see a continuation of the bouncing back in the uh, Hong Kong market as the markets anticipate that now that the uh, uh, restrictions are lifted, uh, the full recovery should be around the corner. So, so consumption is a bit different. Uh, so, as I said, you know, typically stock market leads uh, leads the recovery of the of the real economy. We will see that as the economy start to fully recover, uh, especially some sectors, uh, for example, uh, 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 movie theaters, traveling, tourism. These sectors, which were very severely affected by the uh, uh, COVID restrictions we probably will see a V-shape uh, recovery. And as we uh, see these type of V-shape recovery, uh, consumption will pick up very quickly in, in these sectors. And I do see uh, uh, the so-called revenge consumption uh, mm -hmm. during and, and after the Chinese New Year, right? When you the, see V-shape, do you mean like the Chinese Spring Festival is the lowest part? or At the moment, it's it's bottoming, right? Because uh, people are recovering from the flu-like symptoms. Uh, and this will this will take a few weeks, as the medical experts say. And, and uh, just before or around the Chinese New Year, mm -hmm. uh, we probably will see that most people have recovered from this. And then, you, then we should see uh, a, a, a spike uh, uh, in, in consumption related, uh, especially during this uh, Chinese New Year holiday. Uh, I'm very glad to see that lately, uh, starting in uh, November, uh, uh, the central government, uh, the regulatory agencies, uh, the stock market regulator, etc., uh, they have all uh, released uh, different forms of stimulus, if you will, or, or loosening restrictions uh, on, on the funding and the operation of the real estate market. I think that's 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 great. Uh, that's very much needed. This market is is recovering. Uh, I think it still needs some some more help. So one of the important issue is that a lot of uh, real estate companies still have a lot of uh, debt. Some amounts of the debt will will come due in the next six months. So, so one of the things that, you know, in, in terms of finance, we need to help these uh, real estate companies to lower their leverage and avoid defaults uh, on the bonds and the loans when this debt come due.